Janet Yellen has officially been confirmed as the first Federal Reserve Chairwoman. She sailed through the Senate confirmation process in a record 89 days, thanks in part to Harry Reid invoking the nuclear option, making it significantly easier to pass judicial and executive branch nominees. Only 56 senators voted for Yellen tonight. That's four less than what Ben Bernanke managed to get just four years ago. If the Senate rules had not been changed, she would not have had the votes necessary to be confirmed tonight. Since 1975, it took a three-fifths vote, or 60 out of 100 senators, to pass nominees. Now with the nuclear option, it only takes 51, and Democrats currently control 55 of those. Many Republicans saw this as a free vote against her since she was expected to win without any issues. Yellen, previously the vice chair of the Fed, was an academic with a specialty in the labor markets before joining the central bank more than a decade ago. She has been seen as a strong ally of previous chair Ben Bernanke. Her biggest challenge ahead will be winding down the trillions of dollars worth of bonds bought by the Fed under her predecessor. Janet Yellen is the first major executive branch nominee to be confirmed since the upper chamber's confirmation rules have been changed. Remember, the nuclear option was voted on November 21st. The same day, Janet Yellen was up for a vote in the Senate Banking Committee. Some believe these rules were modified just to accommodate Yellen, but Democrats say the system was broken and plugged by partisan obstruction. They say eliminating filibusters and requiring a simple majority vote would ease the confirmation process for all presidential appointees. But even without a filibuster, Yellen didn't get through confirmation without a few minor road bumps. First, Republican Senator Rand Paul threatened to filibuster her nomination if his bill to audit the Federal Reserve was not brought to the Senate floor for a vote, too. Shortly after this threat is when the Senate filibuster rules were changed. In response, Republicans used other stall tactics to delay her vote, causing it to be postponed by a few weeks. Still not satisfied, however, Senator Rand Paul spoke on the floor tonight in opposition to the nomination of Yellen's confirmation. The complete lack of transparency continues to hurt and cheat the rest of us. At the very least, the American middle class deserves to know what goes on behind the curtain, what decisions are made, and how they benefit Wall Street and the moneyed class. Despite his calls to hold her confirmation until transparency is brought to the Fed, Janet Yellen has been confirmed to the most powerful position in finance.